It's okay. I broke that one. Oh, it's Is that rotten? Boring worms. Oh no, they got into the zucchini. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna um, harvest some of our zucchini here. These, this is the eight ball zucchini. Um, you're supposed to harvest them. Oh, wait, caterpillar or the? Did you get them? Damn, that boy's big. All right, well, White Donald's doing that. The eight ball zucchini is technically supposed to be harvested when it's the size of an eight ball, like a, like a cue ball or a um, um, little bit, it's supposed to be a little bit smaller than this. But as you can tell, this one down here is the size of a freaking bowling ball. <laughs> so, we're gonna mainly use these for uh, zucchini bread anyways. So we're just gonna have to get up in here. And there's one. Ooh, I hope it didn't damage that one. It's okay. I broke that one. Oh, it's. Is that rotten? Boring worms. Oh no, they got into the zucchini. Son of a biscuit. I sprayed these down good too. All right, we'll spray them again tonight then. As you clip them, look look for the holes. Are there any holes in them? I don't see any in this one. This one looks good too. Okay. That biscuit, that, that basket ain't gonna be big enough. <laughs> Wow. They were in the back? Holy cow. <laughs> Why don't we just go ahead and harvest them all since we got a spray? We have how many plants in this one? Two? Three. Three? There's another one over yeah, there. No, there's three here and three in there. Three plants each. Boring worm. Oh no, where? Point it out so they can see. Right there, you can actually see where he. Crap, that one may not be good then. Don't let any of the infected stuff fall. And there it is. Where is he at? Point it out. Wait, show, show the people. There's the worm right there. That's what we're fighting against right now, guys. We got organic pesticide for this. I think it's called DT or something like that. It's it's um it's an enzyme, a natural enzyme um, that affects these things, and it causes them, or like it's a bacteria or something like that. But it. It affects them and it makes them where they can't reproduce or they, it makes them where they don't want to eat. I already sprayed these things once with it, so. But. Toss that into the compost pile. We give, uh, it's not going to hurt our ducks and chickens, so. Yeah. Whoa. Shouldn't have done that. I almost knocked out a chicken. <laughs> Good thing that chicken was quick. <laughs> I didn't see it in there. All right, let's harvest these and double check them. This one is different. Look at the difference between that one's green. The leaves on this one and these. Yeah. And the zucchini, the zucchini itself. Yeah, it's different. Even though we got a a um, these all came from the Look same. Look at that. Is that a worm in there? Yep. Son of a gun. I 
hope they're not. We'll have to double check those. It just started in this one. Can we use this? Or is it best not to? No. There's where it ate in. So, the flock's going to get a treat. Before you cut the next one, double check what we have in the basket. Yeah, I will. I mean, check it looks all. Like it tried one tried to go through there. I don't think it got into it. I mean, circle it all the way around. Since the sunlight is in our favor right now. That one looks okay. Mm-hmm. Well. All right, cut that one open then. It looks like they've tried to cut in this one. I don't think they actually got into it too far. Is there like several hole, holes? Yeah, attempted holes. Yeah. Yeah, see that one didn't get in far. This one is still good. Okay. We'll have to eat that soon though. Well, we can, we can dice it up and freeze them, you know, until we're ready to use them. That one, one tried to get, or it got into it. Is it bad? I don't know. I'll see when I cut it open. We'll see more when we cut them up. Okay. Okay, let's cut these guys out. And just look them over real careful. Yeah, it's got a hole. A big one? Yep. Where? Oh yeah, several of them. Dang it. Every time anything squash or pumpkin or even melon related, we're having four problems. Alright, last one guys. Slug. Okay, slug I could handle. And one drilled in there. I don't know how bad it got it. We'll see. I'm going to go cut them off. Alright, well, we'll be having to spray these down more with. Yep. We have to go over here and check our cucumbers because we found a bunch of our cucumbers. And then our tomatoes too. We gotta worry about them. Any more? We got into this before it even. Yeah, yeah, let's just pick it through. If you see any damage, let's just pick it off. We got time. We I got, think we're okay now. Let's we're see. blooms. Yeah, we got blooms coming, so we'll just have to keep our eye on these guys. All right. We're going to go check out the cucumbers. All right. This is what I'm going to be spraying everything down with. It's BT. Um, it is actually Bacillus. I'm not even going to try the other one. Well, Thoring... Fit subspecies. It's it's an organism that affects the caterpillars and makes it where they're not able to eat. So we're hoping this works this year. We lost everything last year. Did you mix it with water? Yeah, it's a concentrate. Okay. It tells you how much to mix with what. Read. You'll have to read your labels. And I'm gonna spray everything down good. Get it along the bottom. I will. And this stuff will wash off. Yeah, so it's not gonna. Reapply it after it rains. Yeah, reapply after it rains and it'll wash right off the food. It's not like chemical insecticides. I 
to wait till wind stops blowing. And it doesn't affect caterpillars. I mean, it doesn't affect the butterflies. So. We're gonna spray our tomatoes. Oh, you got they a few tomatoes. Caterpillars. Let's hope we can beat these guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Last year we didn't really know a lot about them, so this year, hopefully, what you looking at? Just making sure that wasn't a caterpillar. Oh, okay. All righty. We shall see. Well, at least we did get some zucchini. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, and these are the eight ball zucchini squash that we harvested. Every one of them has a little uh, bore hole in them. But what we're going to do is we're going to let them rest for tonight. And then tomorrow, we're going to start slicing them open and freezing them in slices. So that way we can start using them in our zucchini bread. See how damaged they are. I don't yeah. think they're damaged that bad. Well, let's hope but not. But we'll see. All right. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and grow something for your family.